Hi there everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I'm the Style Coach. And today we're doing another in-person color analysis because so many of you liked the last one, you requested more of these. So I've got Sarah with me today. Sarah and Sarah, hello. Hi everybody, <laughs> hi. So we're gonna go through the full process and uh, we're gonna find out what color season Sarah is. Yay. Let's go. Very excited. Before we get started, can I ask you to please like the video if you enjoyed it, learned something new, subscribe to the channel, and if you really want to support the channel, you can tap that super thanks and I'll be super grateful, thanks. So I've asked Sarah to put a hairnet on and we've got the white cape on as well because we want to have a complete blank canvas. In this part of the consultation, we're focusing in on the skin. So we're gonna find out if Sarah has a cool undertone or a warm undertone. So we're gonna try two groups of colors on her and we're gonna see what we like the best. The most important thing about this part of the consultation is to not look at the color and think, do I like this color or not? Okay. The most important thing is to focus in on the skin and think about what is this color doing to my skin. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna see some colors that you'd say, I would never wear that, that's okay. You're gonna just be focusing in on the skin and what it's doing to the skin at this point. Okay, All right? sure. So let's start with a couple of greens here. So. We've got this yellow green, which has yellow in it, obviously, mm -hmm. and the one underneath has more blue in it. Okay, so the first one is a warm color, the second one is a cool color. Okay. Let's just notice what we notice. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> and you know what, if you're new to looking at color, you may think, I don't see anything, Sarah. Okay. And that's okay. Yeah. So when, when colors work for us, the skin should look even and bright. Um, the, we should have some definition in the jawline. Okay. Um, some colors might make us look sickly. Some colors might make us look vibrant and alive and bright. Okay. So obviously we want the, the vibrant and alive and bright rather than the yeah. sickly and tired looking. Okay. Okay. I feel so, like this one. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna, <laughs> Am I wrong? that's okay, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything just yet. Okay. And I know you're used to wearing, you've worn greens, you know, in the I past have. as well, so. But I've know. never worn something like this mm -hmm. green, and that's why I don't know. Yeah, if it's, yeah. This yeah. makes me look better. Okay, sure. All okay. right. Okay. okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll move on to another set okay. of colors, and uh, we'll, we'll come back to it. I'll let you know what I think in a minute. Okay. So we've got a burgundy here and a tomato red. I would say tomato red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Really like that for you. Yeah, I like okay, that. Okay, yeah. nice. So there's a clear point for the warmer side. Okay, navy. Okay. And brown. I would say navy. Makes my skin look better. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, so very brown again. Oh, I don't know. Maybe brown. Yeah, I, I think brown. I think what's happening is the navy is certainly, you know, navy can be quite a good universal yeah. color for a lot of people. And I think it's picking up in your eyes. Yeah. Which is beautiful. And there is a navy for you, but it yeah. just might not be this navy. Okay. Um, whereas it's the brown brown. feels like this, this harmony here. Yeah. It feels like there's a connection with the color, which is yeah. lovely. Yeah, it's the brown. Yeah. Definitely. Now, I'm not going to say go out and buy brown, you okay. know, if that's not what you want to do. Okay. But in terms of what it's doing for your skin, yeah, that's what we good. focus on. Yeah. Light neutrals. Let's see. So we've got a warmer. Uh, this is oyster. Okay. It's a warmer color. And then versus a white, which... <laughs> what was that reaction that I saw? I don't know. If what, I think that other one is better. Let's see. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's much yeah, better. Yeah, you okay. have such a strong reaction there. Yeah, because I would normally go for something like this. Yeah. But I actually think that looks, mm -hmm. like seeing them contra in contrast is yeah. much better. Yeah. And sometimes you need to see things contrasted with each other yeah. to know one is better than the other. Yeah. When we just see white, we're thinking, oh, okay, good. Yeah. But when we see something that's better, we're like, ah. Yeah. Okay. Cool pinks. I know you like pink as well. I do. I like pink a lot. Yeah. Okay. So cool pink versus a salmon. I would say the cool pink, okay. maybe, baby, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see salmon. 
It's salmon. It's salmon. It's salmon. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> You're wearing everything wrong. <laughs> that's okay. That's what we're here for. I can tell immediately when you take it away. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why, you know, even for myself, I wish I did my colors back in my like late teens. I know. When I first start buying clothes for myself. Yeah. You know, um, because it would have saved me so much time and money. Yeah. <laughs> buying I, the wrong things. Yeah. I definitely could have bought a lot better that's, stuff. That's nice. Yeah. Your, your skin looks warm. Yeah. And definitely. healthy, you know. Yeah, it's the salmon, it's not the pink. All right, let's revisit the greens a little bit. Okay, yeah. this is something we couldn't figure out, but maybe I'm better at this now. Yeah, yeah. And let's like see. I said, you know, greens have an element of blue blue and yellow in them. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's this green. <laughs> yeah, now I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, here's the gold. Okay. And silver oh gold definitely yeah, do you see the color gold. come out of your face just yeah now? it just disappeared yeah oh yeah yeah gold absolutely sure. yeah okay so i think we're safe to say that you are warm undertoned okay okay so looking at this picture here uh the graph we have all our four seasons we've got a cool side and we've got a warm side okay so you're on the warm side which means you can either be a spring or an autumn the difference is spring has high intensity, much punchier colors. Okay. Whereas the low intensity, softer colors in the autumn season. So our next job is to figure out, well, yes, you're warm, but can you tolerate the bright colors or do we need to go a little bit softer for okay. you? That's our next job. Okay, so for this part of the analysis, Sarah's taken off her hairnet and this time we're focusing in on all her, her features, her skin, her eyes, her hair, everything, because we're focusing in on the intensity of her features. So we're gonna take a look at the more intense colors versus softer colors. And Sarah, what you're gonna be looking at for this time is what do you see first? Do you see the color first? Is it stealing the show from you? Okay. Or is it complimenting you and feels very harmonious? Okay. Okay. So I know you like the pinks. I do. <laughs> I really like this pink. This is a nice pink. And by the way, all of these colors are going to suit you somewhat because they're all warm. Yeah. All right. The okay. difference is one's bright, one's soft. Okay. Okay. I think this one is definitely um, not as like pop in your face. Correct. Right? So this is the, the less intense one. Yeah. And this is a clearer color. I'm gonna try it as a backdrop and just see. Okay. So let's say you were like getting a headshot done and you had this colorful background. We're thinking, you know, does the background steal the show a little bit? No, actually I think the other pink looks better. Right? Yeah, I think that might actually steal the show. So this one just it's feels more... like it's not matching you. Yeah. Whereas the pink, Clear, oh, yeah. bright pink feels like there's equal levels of intensity between your yeah. features and the color. Yep, yeah, I like that one. Okay, let's yeah, have a look at a few it. more. Teal. Okay, I like love teal. Teal's be <laughs> fun fact. Teal is quite a universal color. Okay, it pretty much suits everybody. Oh, really? Okay. So I it, was it is. It is. <laughs> I know. I'm like so special. Yeah. Uh, it is a softer color compared to. Oh, um, okay. What was that reaction? I really like that one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, really like that. So we had a look at a navy before and you were like, oh, I didn't like it so much. This. This is nice. This is it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love this. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, we've got a bright, true green. I love it. <laughs> I'm supposed to love this, but I do love and it. And a jade green. I like the other one. Absolutely, yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. This is way too soft for you. Yeah. You need the intensity, the a bright periwinkle. Yeah, okay. And a deeper purple. The other one, totally. the periwinkle. Periwinkle's yeah. beautiful. Oh, I love that color. I don't think I've ever worn that. Really nice. I can't remember a time I wore that color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you know what's giving me another clue to how you can wear uh, stronger colors. Mm. Your eyes have the darker outside ring yeah. to them. Yeah. And that picks up on the intensity of the colors as well in your okay. eyes. So now your eyes are bright. Whereas if we just use the, the, the softer colors on you, yeah. your eyes are kind of not in focus really. Yeah. And that would be a terrible shame. Yeah. 
All right. I agree. That's amazing. So back to the graph again now, Sarah. So we've decided that yes, you're a warm undertone and you can tolerate the high intensity, which means you are in the spring category. Okay. Now, the thing is we've got three sub-seasons within spring. Oh, wow. So okay. we've got bright spring, light spring, and warm spring. So what I'm gonna do now is show you a few samples from each of these seasons or sub-seasons. And okay. we're gonna see if you like them all or if you prefer one over the other, and we'll get, take it from there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna try three of the sub-seasons from spring. We're gonna see if we prefer one, we like them all, okay. and just have a think maybe about them it. All. Okay, okay, maybe them all, exactly. Okay. okay, so here we are with, and you know what, I'm not gonna tell you which season is which season. Okay. All right, so we'll just go ahead and have a look at these colors on you. This is light camel. Okay. <laughs> if that makes a difference, hopefully. <laughs> Do you wanna wear a light camel? <laughs> really? Picked a great name for like camel. Um, I don't know. Okay, if you don't know, then it's no. probably a no. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't gravitate towards it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, no. Mm. Better than the light camel? Yes, much better than the light um, camel. But I think we've seen better pinks on you. Yes. Oh, I do like this one. So for me, this is too soft. Okay. Like yeah. if we compare it to that lovely navy that we saw you yes. in or some of the other blues, yeah. this feels too soft. Okay. I don't think it's doing much. Okay. Okay. I like this. Better. Yeah. This is a little bit more intense than some of the other colors. Yeah. But overall as a palette, I'm not sure that... This would not we're be... We're going to settle yeah. on this. Yeah. Some of them, yes, or maybes. Yeah but we don't love it. No, okay. I don't think it brings out my eyes, like you said, and yeah. yeah I think this just... is a touch too light. Yeah. Because your eyes have a bit more depth to them as well, and yeah. I don't feel like it's matching. No, it's okay. not bringing them up at all. All right. Did you ever go see camels when you were in Dubai? I saw camels on road trips, like Did just you? driving, yeah. yeah. We drove from Dubai to Oman, and like you'd have to watch out for the camels. Are there people on them? No. Oh, they're just walking? Just out roaming around. <laughs> like a dog out for a walk. Yeah. Another group of colours from spring. Okay. So again, you know, they're all going to suit you somewhat. Yeah. Um, but really now we're trying to get into the nuances of the colour here. Okay. Yeah, I still think there's a better red, if that's, unless that's the red you showed me. No, we saw a different red. A different red. But I don't not like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it you don't like about it? <laughs> this is, this is, reminds me of a newborn, and this is exactly the color of what they will. Right, so you don't want to be wearing newborns. That's okay. when I see this color. That's what I think of. Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nature is wonderful. Oh no. Yeah. No. No. Okay, yeah. so we didn't love that palette. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a, a bright yellow. Yeah, I like this, although I've never worn yellow. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, yeah, I red. like that red. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a clear bright pink. Yeah, I like that. I like this. That's beautiful, yeah. that's I really nice. Never have worn this color. So that's the bright periwinkle again. Again, wow. Mm, beautiful, really, yeah. really nice. I love it. Yeah. yeah. How do we feel about that set of colors over the other two? Much better. Yeah, I, I would totally yeah. agree. So, you know, maybe you don't love yellow and that's fine, okay. you don't wear yellow. Okay. Because you have to love what you're wearing as well. Okay, that's a you good You know, point. just because it's in your palette, it's like, oh God, I have to go and make sure I've got this in the wardrobe. You absolutely don't. Okay. Because that's not, not color analysis is not about that. You've got to, look good in your colors and enjoy wearing them. Okay. That's the sweet spot. Yeah. So Sarah, when we look back at the graph here, we looked at three sets of colors here. Um, we thought the light was just too light on you. Okay. Some of those kind of moving into pastels. Okay. Um, we didn't really love the warmer colors on you and remind you of a newborn baby's um, <laughs> stuff. And <laughs> then uh, we preferred the brighter colors on you, which I agreed with you as well. Now, if that's the case, if you really are a bright spring, yeah. the sister season should also work for you somewhat. 
Okay, so the sister season means you share the oh. same dominant characteristic of bright. Okay. So you could technically borrow from bright winter. The difference is winter is going to be ever so slightly cooler. Spring is on the warmer side. Okay. So what we need to do is just do a little bit of a test to see if bright winter actually could work for you as well. Okay, that's good to know. And by the way, if bright winter does work for you, it would make sense that sometimes you wear black and, and you like it. Okay. I remember you wore black for your Debs and you looked amazing. I did. Well, <laughs> you looked amazing. You, yeah, you were so. only about 17. <laughs> <laughs> we all looked amazing. We had skin. All the gym Yeah. Okay, Sarah, so if you are a bright spring, we should like okay. this palette somewhat. We don't, we, we may not love it because otherwise you would be a bright uh, winter, right? Okay. Uh, so, but you should be able to wear these pretty well. Okay. So this is something that I would pick. Yes. But I'm in the wrong. It's like, not wrong because okay. this, if, you know, if you are a bright spring, this is part of your sister palette. Okay. And so this part, this green, it's not, once your dominant characteristic is bright, mm -hmm. it means that your temperature is less important. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, you're still on the warmer side, but only just. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you're kind of straddling the, the bright winter and bright spring there. Okay. I like this. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Me. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's good. It's, yeah. It's, it's good. a good red. It's not as good as the other one, mm -hmm. but it's still a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I do like this. This is not, your eyes just like popped. <laughs> you know? um, and maybe this, this is like, it's quite bright and maybe this yeah. is your special occasion, yes. you know, dress or something, yeah. you know. I like this too. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, so it makes sense now that bright spring is yeah. for you because you can absolutely borrow from bright winter. Okay. But we also need to rule out the other possibilities just to be sure. Okay, so okay. let me explain that for you. Okay, Sarah, so looking back at the graph again, we just need to rule out a couple of things. So okay. we didn't like light spring on you, um, but just to be sure, we're just gonna show you a couple of light summers because that means if you don't like that either, you definitely aren't light spring. Okay. Uh, the same with warm spring. We liked a couple of those colors. We weren't, you know, gone on them completely, yeah. but we just need to check in on warm autumn. And if we don't like those either, we know we've got it right. Okay. Okay, so. So this is, I don't think that it looks great on me, but this is something I buy. <laughs> okay, okay, so, so we're learning anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and you know what? A lot of people would do that. Yeah. They like the color and that's why they buy it. Mm -hmm. That's only half of the puzzle. Yeah. You've got to like the color and it's got to work for you. It doesn't And look you can great. see it now, right? Me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, just, I know the next one also is something I always buy. I bought something yesterday yeah. in that color. And you've seen how great the periwinkle looks on you compared yeah. to this. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, I, I mean I bought a top yesterday in that color. <laughs> okay. So, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look good. Have you got the receipt? <laughs> I do. Okay. Yes, I will bring it back. Alright, we're going shopping after this. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, so um, yeah. I think we can say, look, no, this is not the direction we should have gone in anyway. We're happy with okay. that. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I do love this, but I don't think it does anything for me. No. I mean, it's not it's not bad because it's got the warmth, which is yeah. good for you. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, it's okay. No. It's not giving you life. No. <laughs> okay. It's not, no. It, I think it works for your hair, your skin, but your eyes are not popping. Yeah. And we that would be a shame. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got this kind of um, a rust color. I can see in later years me liking this color. Yeah, uh, and you know what? Yeah. That could be a possibility because what's going to happen later in life, as it all happens to us, yeah, uh, our our intensity fades a little bit. Okay. Because our hair uh, loses its color, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, our eyes become a little bit softer. Everything becomes a little bit softer. So maybe later in life you're going to reduce that intensity that you have okay. been wearing. Yeah. And lean into something softer, but I think you know compared to the bright spring plus the bright winter, which I think were just a winning combination. Yeah. Um, some of these, of course, will work with for you in some capacity because there's warmth. Yeah. Um, this is nice, but I loved the other brighter colors. Yeah. I mean, loved Same. them. Yeah. Okay. I felt much better in them mm -hmm. than like when this one's up against me. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, let's do a little recap. We decided that the cooler colors 
were not as good for you as the warmer colors. Mm -hmm. Okay, we decided that the softer colors were nice, but did we prefer the brighter? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Look at your eyes. Yeah, I like it much better. Now your eyes are really popping, especially with these top colors. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. Yeah, nice, okay. We decided that you were not a summer mm -mm. because they're too soft, too cool for you. Yeah. We decided that some of these colors within winter, the brighter colors actually worked well for you, but just a touch on the cooler side. Yeah. So it wasn't your season. Mm -hmm. Some of these autumn colors, which we thought, you know what, maybe as we go down through the path of life and our intensity fades a little bit, that yeah. these could work for you because the warmth is there for you. Yeah. Okay. I agree. And then finally we said, you know what? <laughs> We like a bit of fun. Yes. Uh, the warmth yeah. is here and the brightness is here because your eyes have that intensity to them. Yeah. And um, not all of these colors now, but the warm ones and the bright ones were for you. Yeah, okay. I love them. So in terms of your uh, capacity to tolerate, um, okay. you know, high contrast patterns, we've got this one, which is very low contrast. Mm -hmm. And we've got this one, which is very high contrast. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, now to be honest, I think you're somewhere in between. Yeah. You know, I think you can do better than that, like it may be a navy and a white. Yes. Rather than a black and white. That's Might just too much. much. Yeah. That's too much, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna present Sarah with her color palette. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so here you go, Sarah. You can Thank see you. here that these are all the colors that we've been working towards. Okay. A beautiful range of colors, all the pinks that you love, plenty of greens there, strong yeah. blues. Uh, we've got those periwinkle colors here. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So you've got a choice of your beauty. So this is what you'd be wearing on your eyes, okay. your cheeks, your lips. Over here, you've got some wardrobe basics, your accessories, which would be your accent colors, and then in terms of your jewels, you could go for these pops of colors oh, in your wow. jewels. Okay. Uh, and of course, gold suiting you best. Okay. So how do you think you're gonna be using your palette now following the consultation? A hundred percent because like, I know as we've chatted, yeah. I found it hard to know what to wear after having Cormac. Yeah. Um, and especially just realized that I didn't actually know like what suited me. Yeah. I had no clue what colors worked on me. I hadn't. Mm -hmm sort of some of these colors in mind yeah. but like i needed some help yeah like and i wish i had gotten help earlier I know, right? but it, it's so helpful when shopping like i just said i bought things that were wrong yesterday yeah that i like the color but they don't do anything for me and yeah, then exactly you look at your wardrobe and you realize you don't have anything you really look good in mm -hmm. so definitely yeah. going to use this as a yeah. shop and especially for makeup as well exactly yeah and yeah. you can use it for for anything really i'm yeah. just gonna pass this behind your face if you look in the okay. mirror there and we can you know oh i love it yes. yeah yeah really complimentary yeah all right that's for you to take home thank you Sarah. all right thank that's you. it for today's video thanks so much for watching and i hope to bring you more videos like this very soon so take care we'll see you again bye, bye